Okay, to start with, we're just going to be working on our students developing our front hand, our lead hand defense. And the best way to go about it is just to have five attacks, taking turns, so I'll do five attacks, then Sensor Ash will do five attacks. And we're only allowed to block with our front hand, and just like with our sun chin, the other hand remains locked into place. So Sensor Ash only blocks with his front hand, front hand, front hand, snaps back into place, front hand, front hand, front hand. It's my go. Front hand, front hand, front hand, front hand, front hand. Okay, then we've got five with our rear hand. So now we're only allowed to block with our rear hand, and our front hand does not move at all. So we've got rear hand, rear hand, rear hand, rear hand, rear hand. Then since Ash does five, rear hand, rear hand, I missed that, rear hand. Rear hand, rear hand. Okay, so we'll go a little bit faster now because it's actually more difficult when it's slow. So we're going back to front hand, five techniques each. So we're ready. One, two, three, four, five. And since the ashes go, one, nice, two, three, Four, five. So rear hand down. <coughs> One, two, and then he's going to do them five blocks. Rear hand. So I'm going to do ten strikes. Since the ash gets front hand five, back hand five. So you're ready. And we're going to do the first couple slow, then we'll build it up. One, two, three, four, five. Then rear hand. One, two, three, four, five. Then my go, we've got front hand. One, two, three, four, five. And back hand. One, two, three, four, five. So then we build up the pace. We've got five front hand, five back hand. One, two, three, four, five. Then five rear hand. One, two, three, four, five. Then my go, five front hand. One, two, three, four. Five, and five rear hand. One, two, three, four, nice, five. Our defensive two positions, L2 and R2, lead hand, second technique, reverse hand, second technique, is where we put in an opposite hand counter attack. So, if, since the Ash is using his front hand to block, then he's going to counter attack with his back hand. Vice versa, if he blocks with his back hand, it's his front hand that strikes. Now it's important when you're doing these techniques when you're, de when you're defending, is not to get out of stance. Again, in kata we don't go from striking position to defensive position, to striking position to defensive position, where our posture remains the same, even though we're altering our positions. So the same thing happens with Kumite. We've got to take the same principles with Kumite. So if it says strikes, this is not good enough. This is not good enough. Because while I've defended the first technique, you can be sure the next technique is going to finish me off. So we want to make sure when we're defending, we're holding our ground strong. Because that gives us the ability to counter strike, to counter strike, to counter strike. So now I'm going to do five attacks with my lead hand. Since they're actually going to block with his front hand, L2, which is block, strike. Okay, you're ready. First to medium pace, and we'll build up the speed. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, now we're going to do R2, which is he's defending with his rear hand, and then striking with his lead hand. And we've got one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Good. Now, at the moment we're only going medium pace, but it's important 
when you're doing these drills that both people are training. So for example, if my goal is the, to be the attacker, it's not to help Ash train and switch off. My goal is to do everything right, so I'm still training, therefore my attack. So while he's doing R2, as an example, read hand defend, counter strike with his lunge punch, I'm therefore practicing my striking. So I'm focusing on one, two, irrespective of whether he scores or not. So I'm training, he's training. One, two. Okay, so now, my go. So I've got one, two, for five, and then one, two, for five. And how do you make it? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then we've got our rear hand. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two sorry. Yeah, one, two. Yummy. Okay, next part of our defense is to, obviously, when you're a lower grade, your focus is defend. You become a little more experienced and your goal is to then defend and turn that defense into offense. And ideally, we want to develop our ability to be able to think defense and offense simultaneously. So now we've got our send no send technique, which is to strike at the same time as we block. Shows up in a number of kata, so obviously it's an important part of karate. So again, since I ash in this instance, he's going to be defending with his front hand and counter-attacking at the same time. So it's not now one, two, it's all together. All together. And we go together. 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 And look three fast now. Together. 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 Very good. So now he's going to do the same thing with his rear hand. So his rear hand defends. At the same time, he counterattacks with his lead hand. So we'll do a few slow. Together. All right, lunge. Together. Reverse. Together. Lunge. Together. So he's defending, striking all at once which is relying on his ability not to compromise his stance. So pick up the speed now. One, two, nice, three, and last one, four. Yeah. Another way to do your seven and seven techniques is to actually set up an ambush. One of the advantages of setting up an ambush is that you can premeditate where the attack's going to come from. So as an example, if I'm sparring and I, and I raise my hand up here, and I cover my head, it makes no sense but since I asked to strike to my head although well, he's got some fancy kicks but it makes more sense for him to strike somewhere below here so I can prompt him to attack low it makes no sense and my hand is high enough so even if he wanted to knock it down to strike it's still too high for him to get his hand up it's still so high that I've still got my set no set available so I can set up an ambush prompt him to attack low and I know that at the moment he moves, all I have to do is drop, drop, drop this way. So we've got slow, one, one, one. So I set the ambush, one. So we've got more of a Kumite simulation now. So I set the ambush, one, 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 yeah.